Hello my friend, happy to see you here and really interesting problem today. We have mq plus m square equal to 810 and we need to find our m from this interesting problem. And a lot of students have a little bit difficulties with this problem because we have cube and they don't know how can we how can we factor it, how can we find our m. And in this video I'm going to show you a really interesting, maybe you don't see this method before, you haven't seen this method before because this is a really interesting method and I wanted to mention that I hope you will enjoy it, okay? Let's try to solve it. We have 810 on the right hand side and we have this expression on the left hand side so let, let's leave this left hand side as, as it stay right here so nothing changed with left hand side but this right hand side we have 810. So how can we write this 810? Let's try to think a little bit. So the first and main obvious way is to write it as 81 times 10. So we can write it in this way, yeah? So we can write it as 81 times 10, nothing hard. Okay, what is another way? How can we how can we write it? The another way, we will have three times three times three times three and times two times five. So three times three times three equal to eighty one and two times five equal to ten. So in this way we can we can express this as well. Let's try to find another way. So three times three times three and times three. This is three to the fourth power. This is great. And right here two times five equal to ten. So we can also write it in this way. I hope you understand this. We can write it also in this way. What is, what's next? How can we express this? 81, this is great because 9 square times 10. We can write it also in this way. But the main trick right here, let's write this 10 as 9 plus 1. If we write this 10 as 9 plus 1, and if we multiply parentheses by this 9 square, we will have 9 cube plus 9 square. And this is really interesting moment. 9 cube plus 9 square equal to 810. Equal to 810. And right now let's change. Let's change this 810 by this, by this 9 cube plus 9 square. Okay, we will have m cube plus m square equal to 810. Or in our case equal to 9 cube plus 9 square. And right now let's bring these elements from right to left. So we will have m cube plus m square minus 9 cube and minus 9 square equal to 0. So we forget about this 810. We don't need it right now. We change this by 9 cube plus 9 square. And right now if you look closely we have m cube and 9 cube. So two cubes. Really interesting. And let's group it. We will have m cube minus 9 cube and in the second way we'll have plus m square minus 9 square. We can take a brackets right here because we have a sum so it's 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 really good right now. Okay we have this expression. What are we going to do next? Take a look closely. Difference of cubes, difference of square and it looks like we know this formula and let's write it. We'll have a cube minus b cube. This is equal to a minus b times a square plus b square and plus a b. This is our first formula that we need right here. Difference of cubes, we need this formula right here. And we have difference of squares. This is our really interesting and maybe you know this formula from your school. We will have a minus b and times a plus b. Okay, we have this, this situation right now. And if you look closely, this formula goes to this problem, to this expression, and this goes as difference of cubes. And let's try to raise this. If we raise this to the cube, we will have a equal to m and b equal to 9. So we will have completely the same parentheses, but instead of a we will have m, and instead of b we will have 9. Okay, we will have m minus 9 in second parentheses, we will have m square plus 9 square plus 9m. And in the second problem we will have plus and two product. We will have m minus 9 and times m plus 9 equal to 0. Okay, and a lot of students ask me if this is more complicated than this in the beginning. But if we look closely to this, we can see m minus 9 and m minus 9 are completely the same in both, in both steps. So we can easily factor it. So m minus 9 and in second parentheses we will have from here m square m square plus 9 square plus 9m and from second parenthesis we need to add to this one we need to add m plus m plus 9 plus m 
plus 9 equal to 0. Let's try to simplify this a little bit. So we leave the, it the same, so m minus 9. And in second parentheses, we will have m square plus 9 square plus 81. Right here, 9m plus m equal to 10m, so plus 10m and plus 9 equal to equal to 0. As you can see, we, we don't like simplify this because we need to add 9 plus 81. So we will have m minus 9 and in the second parentheses we will have m square and I want to change an order a little bit. So if I change an order we will have m square then plus 10m and right here 81 plus 9 equal to 90, equal to 0. And as you can see finally we factor our problem. But I want to mention about this moment because this is a really great moment and I want to share with you because if we extra express this 810 in this way, so as you can see right here, cube and square, and if we express this constant as cube and square, so as sum, as a difference, doesn't matter, you can easily go with these formulas, difference of cubes and right here this identity. So this is about this moment and I hope you enjoy it and I hope you understand this. So let's try to solve it. We have a product equal to zero, then m minus 9, equal to 0, from here m equal to 9. And it looks like our first root, but what about this parenthesis? Maybe we will have more roots. So we'll have m square plus 10m and plus 90 equal to equal to 0. Well, let's, let's try to solve this problem. Let's try to solve it real quick. So we will have m square plus 10m plus 90 equal to 0, classic quadratic equation, and let's start with our discriminant. Because our discriminant, this is our 100, a b square minus 4 times a 1 and times c 90. And if we look closely, we will have 100 minus 360, which is equal to minus 260. Negative equal to is less than 0. So right here we'll have two complex complex roots. No real roots, two complex roots. These parentheses give us two complex roots. But first parentheses give us one real number root and let's, let's check it real quick. So we will have 9 cube plus 9 square equal to 810. <clears throat> what we will have as a result? Right here we will have like 700, 729 I guess, like that. We will have 7 times 7 times 7, so 49 times 7, <clears throat> something like that. Oh, not 49, this is like our not 7, so forget this. We will have 729 plus 81, so as a result, 810. I forget this with, with 7, so nothing nothing change. So 810, really interesting, really interesting solution, and I hope you will enjoy it. Our answer, our answer, M equal to 9, this is our answer. And moreover, you can see this answer right here, right here with this with this step, you can easily see that we have m cube m square and 9 cube 9 square. So it looks like our answer is 9, but in math, it, math is not about inspection, it's about a solution. So this is my, my approach to this problem. So thank you so much for watching. If it's not hard to you, please leave a like, write any comment. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next videos. Have a great day.